Diplo was stricken with potentially fatal viral meningitis and doctors told her to give up her passion, give up tennis. But they didn't take into account her determination. Mike Barrett reports on a centre court fairy tale. She's won the match, three sets, seven, five, four, six, seven, five, and a great win for Jane Taylor. I'm pretty happy at the moment. Yeah, I'm really happy just to be back on the tennis court. I, in October, I trained really hard after I said to the doctors, look, I'm going to give it my, another go. Jane Taylor knows how to come back. Her second round win yesterday in the Australian Open was her best result in a Grand Slam tournament but she's already overcome more difficult obstacles. Three years ago, she was stricken with the potentially fatal illness, viral meningitis. Doctors believe it was the end of her tennis career. They never said it to me directly, but I know they spoke about it. But it was never an option for me because I've always believed within myself that I can do it. And I mean, as long as my health is there, which is there now, so yeah, I'll keep going. There was another setback a year ago when the meningitis symptoms came back. This time she was urged to retire for good. But Jane wasn't about to give up the game she had dedicated 16 years to. I mean, I suffer from migraines a couple of times a month. I mean, that's just, I just live with those things, they're fine. I mean, I'll get over them. I mean, they're not gonna, I don't think they'll be there for life. Do they affect your performance at the time you have them? I mean, are they, are they debilitating enough to force you to stop playing for that time? Yeah, I've only ever had one migraine where I just like collapsed and the god, I was just, it was, an, it was horrible, it was in Sydney. Peter Taylor is father, coach, uh, trainer and manager. Uh, it certainly hasn't been easy combined with her sickness and at one stage uh, her mother was rushed to Canberra when she was uh, rushed to hospital at 11 o'clock at night and there weren't very good signs but uh, we've overcome a lot and uh, Yes, when you look at the last few days uh, and see how happy the child is, I think that's the measure of success. Jane hasn't just sat back and waited for things to happen. While recovering from her latest bout of illness, she sent out portfolios looking for sponsorship. Last year, when I was sick, I wrote to 200 companies and not one of them replied with a favourable reply. I wanted sponsorship and, I mean, it's extremely hard out there. And, I mean, not one of them replied favourably, so that was tough. I mean, because you, you know you believe in yourself, but then when you get rejections right, from all sponsorship companies and they're just like saying, no, we've got no, nothing, we can't do anything for you. And That's a lot. Um, some financial assistance, um, anything, basically. <laughs> I mean, I, I was finding it really, really tough. She has faced in, uh, incredible adversity over recent times, um, but I also know that she has had this goal, had this challenge, and uh, she has worked in the last four months uh, very, very hard and deserves a success. Jane Taylor, ranked 186 in the world, now has a third round game against fifth seed Jana Novotna, a trifle compared to some of the battles she's had in the past. I'm having a great time, it's good, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. The minute I stop enjoying playing tennis, it's the minute I give up. I'm just not going to waste my life away. I've got a lot of things that I can do, so yeah, it's nice. So who's after Novotna? After you play, <laughs> who you face next? I've you? got no idea. <laughs> I no, my aim was to get to the third round. And um, I mean, I knew that I'd play her if I got to the third round, so it's nice. I, don't, I haven't looked past that. Doesn't really matter, does it? That's right, if I win, geez, <laughs> I don't know what'll happen. <laughs> Jane faces her next big on-court challenge tomorrow when she meets Jana Novotna. Now from centre court to centre stage. 